Hey guys, Dave here, and welcome to Road Rage. Yeah, so this is me on the road. I decided to make a little bit of a another series to complement the uh, motion sim, um, all the technical stuff and how to build them and things like that, because I'm on the road a lot. This is pretty much what I looked at all day long. Not much. This is pretty much why I don't get a lot of work done on the sim rig during the week because I'm out of town making a living. And this series isn't going to be just me talking in a car. This is just my idea. So I thought I'd get it out and uh, kind of start, start off the first one like this. Um, I, so we're going to be going over a lot of different technical things like different motors, how to tell the difference between, uh, you know, the type of potentiometers or hall of, what's the difference between those things and answering a lot of your guys' questions. I wish I could because uh, basically all I get is Saturday, which my wife is real cool about it. She let me, uh, you know, she'll let me know that I got a race coming up, and that's what I do on Saturday. I race with ACF, and then I work on the sim rig a little bit, and uh, maybe make a video. So that's why you only get, um, you know, one or two a month. And that's why I'm going to do this because there's a lot more that that you need to know. There's a lot of different things. There's a lot of interesting things that come up, and. I just need to talk to, to you guys about them. And I want to answer some of your questions. So uh, during the weeks that I'm, you know, just sitting on the road, a lot of guys come up and they, they ask questions. Well, I'd like to be able to address them. And I'm going to do that in this type of post. That way everybody can see them. Because it's hard to get the questions in on a long video that I'm trying to put out some other information on, you know, technical stuff. So here we go. So that's what I'm gonna do and this is gonna be exciting this is gonna be really exciting not like the last video wait guys look at this I want to check this out oh yeah man $1,500 dollars $4,500 that's not too bad you got to be able to get those things a lot cheaper though. Uh, that one's probably got a blown engine. The other one's probably all clapped out. Yeah, you never know. But uh, those cars are in Selma, Alabama. Speed limit is 20 miles an hour. Did you ever try to go 20 miles an hour? So I've always been a car guy. Uh, like ever since I was two years old, or three years old. Um, so I'm always on the hunt, always looking for cars, like old race cars, cars that could be turned into race cars, old beaters, weird looking cars, just, that's so that's kind of what I'm going to put on here too. Every time I see something really weird or cool, you're going to see it too. So I don't want you guys missing out on anything, any important information that I either missed on a video or... Um, can put out on this new one. Just stick with me. I'm almost where I need to be, so I'll pick up from there, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be going over everything you need to know to uh, make your this motion simulator work. So next video is gonna be wiring, but if you don't wanna wait for that, I got one right here that I've already done. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it again and try to do a better job this next time. After the wiring video, uh, I got SMC3, um, so I'm going to go over that again. But if you can't wait, I've got another SMC3 video, maybe two of them, on the website right here. So next I got a SimTools video, and I'm actually going to be giving away another copy of SimTools Pro. So you, you just want to watch all of these different ones. If you don't want to wait for the SimTools uh, video, I've got another one that I've already done. And I'm just going to try to make them better each time. And these are going to be specific for this 12-volt uh, system. So, guys, links are in the description. So, if you want to follow along, click on them and watch each individual video that I've already done. Go ahead and do that. At least you won't be blindsided when I start talking about it in the actual video that's coming up. I really want to do another video on wind sim. Okay, so I want to use those C-Flow blowers. 
not the little wimpy 3000 RPM um, case fans, the 120 millimeter case fans. I want to use the beefy ones. So <laughs> at the beginning of the compact sim, I really wanted to use server power supplies to, um, rep you know, instead of a, a, a battery. Now the battery is really the best way to go about it. it provides um, like 850 amps instantly. Eh, you'll never use that with a, with a rig, even a 6DOF. But I was able to use AC to DC 24 volt converters to run the seat mover. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'd really like to use some maybe 650, uh, maybe 850 watt Dell or HP power supplies. I'm going to do a video on that. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably will work. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Questions. So go ahead and send them in. I don't care how many questions I, I get. I'm going to try to do it on the next video of Road Rage. And I also want to say thanks to Sir Spats Gaming. Um, he asked me to do a little commercial, which I did. He put it out on his channel. Now, if you've never seen his channel, which, you know, there's he's got like 26,000 um, subscribers. So he's got a lot more than I do. So I'm pretty sure you have seen his stuff. But basically what he does, he's it's all about a set of course uh, about uh, set of course mods and things like that. How to set up uh, all the different um, saw, uh, the rain, all these different things, uh, traffic, all the different tracks and different mod cars. So check out his channel. His link is below as well. So I, I roll up to the hotel and look at this freaking car. Holy crap. I, this has got to be well over a hundred thousand man that is one heck of a car and it looks like i'll be driving that in a set of corsa or something not in real life but anyway all right so you might wonder what in the world have i been doing with the sim rig so the last time that i did a video i was uh kind of you know working on the top frame getting the center of balance and all that stuff okay so i, I have actually put it in primer here's a couple photos and hopefully this weekend, uh, you know, I'm going to wet sand it down once or just kind of scuff it up and uh, uh, paint it black. Like my heart. <laughs> anyway, uh, just kidding. Uh, maybe not. So this is kind of what I want to do. But, but I can't do it without you. So I need you to ask some questions. Just write it in the comments of this video. And even if you asked me before and I came up with either a good answer or a lame answer or whatever, just ask it in, in the comments section of this video. And I'll answer them on the next Road Rage. All right. So this is just an intro to what I'm doing um, just so I can stay in touch during the week. All right. So don't worry. I'm still going to be making long, boring videos on how to DIY your own motion sim, um, motion simulators. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be tearing apart motors. I'm gonna be tearing apart. I'm trying maybe try some different uh, motor controllers. I'd really like to do that. Um, the, the kind of stuff that I can't really do on the big long videos. So I do appreciate you, every single one of you guys. Now I got 4,000 subscribers. I'm just baffled because, like, I know maybe, maybe a hundred people. Uh, <laughs> that's it. I don't know, like, 4,000. But anyway, I do appreciate every one of you guys looking at this kind of stuff. You know, the only reason I did it was because I went on xsimulator.net, and it's all text. I mean, there's, there's, a, there, to be fair, there's some videos, um but ma mainly showing you what, you know, the finished product, the thing moving. I'm like, yeah, if I'm gonna go through this, I might as well, you know, tape a little bit, which is kind of a pain because, I mean, you gotta, you gotta set all the stuff up and then, you know, you got wind and rain and people complain about the audio and all this stuff, but you know what? I'm happy to do it because I got a thick skin and <laughs> Oh well, you know, nothing I can do about that. I try the hardest I can. Ask whatever question you want. I'll try to get to it. I'm gonna look through them all 
for for sure and uh, I'll probably reply to you on the website but or YouTube site <laughs> website I'm so old and I'll read the questions on the next episode all right guys uh, let's get some stuff done all right come on <laughs>